Okay, so this is a quick video on running the service script using Bubble's toolbox uh, service script function in the back end and how to actually return multiple lists or mo multiple values from this function to use in your other actions within your API workflows. So what I've got here is a test uh, gym tracking platform. So what happens is, and I'll run this in the debugger, but what happens is when you click create AI template, what happens is it shows this pop-up. We input uh, our muscle group and the kind of training we want and we click create workout template. What this does is essentially schedules the backend workflow AI template which we can see here, this API workflow here, it hits the OpenAI endpoint and then gets some JSON data back. And what we wanna do is process this JSON data and then actually get each value, uh, which is an array list uh, to actually process those lists. Here we have, we wanna return output list one and output list two. Now you'll see we define output list one as a text and output list two as a number. So we'll be returning those, uh, passing the JSON data from OpenAI's response and then calling a function, which you can see here returns the data. Now with the Toolbox plugin, I've had some issues in the past returning some of this data. And I've found the best way to do it is to define a function. So you can see here, I, I test everything in JS Fiddle first to make sure this works. I define the function and then what I do is just return the result. Now here I'm console logging it because it's on the front end, but you'll see on my side, instead of console logging it, I just I just call the function. And so that's, that returns the data. Now the way to test this is to go into your logs. Uh, what I do is I make sure I click plugin server side output and uh, plugin server side error while I'm testing. And what you can do is, so I can, this is where I can view, this is the actual service script running. I give it a unique name because if I have multiple service scripts, I know which one's which when I'm trying to find them. Um, if you want to, you can actually just come in here and paste the name and hit search if you want to uh, get rid of all the other stuff. But what I do is I jump in here, take a look at this. Now I want to actually look at the output, so I'm going to remove that. Um, and here you can see the console output. Now I'm not logging anything to the console, but what I am looking to do is what I've done actually here is I've just made a quick test text field on both of the on the user type and basically joined the lists together. So quick, you can there's a mul multiple ways you can do this, but that's a quick way to just see what's being logged um, rather than scrolling through Bubbles logs and copying and pasting that and checking that your data is correct. But wanted to make this video just to explain how to actually use this service script tool because the documentation can be confusing, uh, especially if you're not the best with JavaScript. Cool.